Oh, hey, there you are. Welcome. By now, I don't think I need to tell you what a VPN is. But I'm gonna tell you anyway, because I'm wicked like that. A VPN is a secure tunnel between two computers, usually yours and a server, that allow the rest of the internet to make it seem like your traffic is coming from that server. Now, why would you want that? There's a few common usages of VPNs. Uh, one of them is unlocking content available in other regions. So for example, watching US TV shows on streaming services in Europe. Another common usage is to access your uh, government websites, local government websites while you are traveling. Because for some reason that I don't understand why, governments tend to lock their websites only for access for, from the, the country itself. And another usage could be to see how your content, maybe your banner ads or your website looks like in another region. Now, you could say that there's plenty of existing VPN solutions. Why make another one? Well, first, most of the existing solutions are paid. And the solution I'm gonna show you today is free or close to it. Second, you're launching a VPN in order to go around uh, ISP locks or ISP snooping. But the reality is that you have no idea if the VPN provider themselves are keeping logs on you. So today's solution is both free and you have full control over the VPN itself because it's open source. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use Outline, which is a VPN developed by Jigsaw, which is a subsidiary of Google, and using the Shadow Socks protocol, which actually is very hard to detect and is commonly used to go around the Great Firewall of China. Okay, enough blabbing, let's get doing. First, we're gonna be downloading Outline itself. So we go to getoutline.org and get the Outline Manager first. It's available for Windows, Linux, and macOS, but I'm gonna be showing you on macOS. Once the Outline Manager has launched, just go to set up Outline Anywhere because we're not gonna be using the other samples. Now, to host the VPN, we're gonna be using the Google Cloud Platform. So we go to console.cloud.google.com. Once the Google Cloud Platform has started, we can create a VM. So click Create VM. It will ask which project to create it in. So we can create a project and call it Outline VPN in your case, I'm gonna call it GCP, so Google Cloud Platform, Hacking Modern Life. Once the project has been created, you enable the Compute Engine API. While uh, the Compute Engine instances usually cost money, the micro instance is actually free. And you can see it here. If you looked at GCP's free tier, you will see that one of the uh, things is the one E2 micro instances per month, which is exactly where we're gonna be hosting our VPN. And unfortunately, only three locations are free, the US West, US Central, and US East. So basically you can run your VPN only in the US for free, but all the other locations that are available are actually very cheap as well. And we're talking about around $4 a month for any other location. Okay, back to uh, GCP. The, we're creating the instance. I'm gonna call it Outline VPN. And we have to choose one of the regions that we just saw that are free. So in this case, I'm gonna use US East. We switch the machine type to MICA, which is the free one, and don't worry about the $7 here. It's actually gonna be free if it's only one instance. If it's more than one instance, you will pay $7 a month. If you want to start a VPN, not in the US, but in any of the other regions, such as Europe, like London, for example, instead of choosing E2 Mica, go here and choose N1 F1 Mica. And then that particular instance is gonna be $6 a month if you run it the whole month. Of course, you can run it only when you need and then you will pay a lot less. GCP instances are actually paid by the minute. So you will pay as many minutes as you run it. But today we're gonna do US Central because we want the free version. 
Okay, next, in order to keep the price low, we have the choice of premium networking or standard networking. Premium networking is much faster, but you will pay separate for that for traffic. Standard instance is free. So we go open networking, networking here, find the network interface and switch the network service tier from premium to standard. Now we just wait for the instance to be created. That can take a few minutes, but it shouldn't take too long. Once the instance is created, click on SSH and you will have a terminal window pop up. Don't worry, we won't spend long in the terminal and it's not gonna be scary at all, I promise. Once in the terminal, you type sudo apt install wget and once this is finished, we go to outline, copy the command that is here and paste it in the terminal. When it's asked to install docker, you say yes and now we wait a few minutes can take about five to 10 minutes for it to install. This is completely normal and you need to do it only once. Once outline server has finished installing, we need a few things that it outputs for us. One is we go and take this API URL uh, line. It's enough to just select it and it's copied automatically. We go to outline manager and paste it here. But before outline can actually connect, we need to first do one more thing inside the Google Cloud. We need to take those ports defined here and set up uh, firewall rules in order for the internet or the outside world to be able to connect to that new VPN server we just configured. So here we see 10.7.7.2 for TCP and 20.654 for both TCP and UDP. Those ports are gonna be different for you. So don't copy them from here, but rather copy it from the output you get after installing Outline. Okay, next we go to Setup Firewall Rules and Create Firewall Rule. We give it a name Outline VPN. In Targets, we change to All Instances in the Network. Source IP v4 ranges, we enter 0000 slash 0. That basically tells Google Cloud to let any client on the internet connect to that server. However, don't worry, not anybody can actually connect to it, just the ones with the key that we will install uh, a bit later. Okay, we go to specified protocols and ports, TCP. We put in the two ports that we wrote down, in this case, 10.7.7.2 and 20.6.5.4 and then UDP, the second one. So 20.6.5.4 and press create. Okay, when you click the firewall rule, you can see here the name of the instance that it's gonna connect to, which is the server we just created. Now we can press done on uh, outline. And ta-da, we are connected to the server. Awesome. But we're connected as managers of the server. We're still not using the VPN itself. So back to the outline manager, we click on the little computer and phone in here and outline shows us a, a message to connect this device. So connect this device, we copy the code and then it says, do you want to install outline? So yes, we do want to install Outline in order to connect. So we set up the server, now we're installing the client. Install Outline from the uh, App Store. Pay attention that when you click open, it doesn't actually open the app, but puts it in your, in your notification bar, in your menu bar. So click here, it says access key detected, which basically means uh, that the key we just copied was found on the clipboard. If it doesn't detect it, you need to paste it from the manager. But in this case, it detected it. You press uh, add server. And now we have the VPN set up. All that's left is to just press one button, connect. And we are connected to the server. If we go now and check what is my IP, suddenly you see that our, my IP is in the US. 
even though I am physically not in the US at the moment. If you want to set up the VPN on your mobile device, tablet, basically on any other device, you go to the Outline Manager again, you click on that icon again, click Connect a different device, copy that URL and send it to your uh, phone. Then on the phone, you copy that URL to the phone, you click on it on the phone, connect this device, install Outline and add server the same way. Click connect and now your mobile device is connected as well. That's it. Now you have your own VPN that uh, you can launch whenever you want. It's free if you use the US endpoint and very cheap for any other endpoint. And uh, you know exactly who has access to that server. So you know who keeps logs on you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and trust me, I enjoyed making it. If you did, press like. If you didn't, please leave a comment why you didn't like it. Be sure to subscribe to have more tech tips and hacks like this one in the future. That's it. Bye for now.